Who's that? Come in. It's me, Jisum. Fuck is that? Greetings, my prince. My prince, I brought your food. Should I drop it here or there? I brought your food, my prince. Where would be more convenient for you, here or there? Just get out. Thank you. Okay. My prince, Queen Mother said I should ask you if you'll be needing anything else. I said get out! I'm surprised at Prince Leonard's behavior today at the palace. Look at the way he walked out on everybody, including his father, the king. Uh, well, I know his brother was just trying to ease the tension, but there's more to that. I know Prince Frederick was only trying to cover up for his brother. That's true. Prince Leonard's behavior still baffles me. Judging from what happened today, one would have thought that living abroad would make him a better man. But I know this certainly is going to bring out the worst in him. Oh, Iche, you are not far from the truth. We, they arrived. I observed he was very calm. Immediately we mentioned the achievement abroad, he became upset. Why was that? Isn't this obvious why? He got intimidated by his brother, Prince Frederick's long list of qualifications. <sighs> got intimidated? How? Ichiawa, you are asking me how as if you don't know Prince Leonard again. I don't think he came back with any qualification. <laughs> bam, 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 that is not possible. That is not possible. After all these years of studies abroad, how can he not come with uh, some qualifications? It's not possible. You think that living abroad will change him to become a better man? Look, let me tell you. It will be easier for a lion to eat grass than for a snake to develop legs. <laughs> Don't worry. Just wait. You will soon hear. <laughs> this is your parable. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. A lion eating grass. I'm telling you. <laughs> that is it. She did not know about this. She did not know about this. My love, please calm down. Just calm down. Don't ask me to calm down. Don't! What is it? Sorry. Ah, how can I calm down for that kind of a boy? Eh? Tell me which kind of father will condone the excesses of such a prodigal son for this long? I have tried everything to make him a good person. I sent him abroad. I tried to make him a better version of himself. But everything is in futility. What is it? You are telling me to calm down. For what? My love, I know how your anger can be. I know the consequences. When you eventually get angry. That is why I don't want you to get to this extent. Look, it has got it past that extent. I am telling you, it has got it past the, the stage. Ah! Look, separately, I have changed from being a king to being a father. Just to condone his excesses. But what do I get? The same thing. So what, what, what is it? I'm fed up. Uh, you have every right to be angry. I'm equally angered by this latest development. But I don't want us to give, give up on him. I don't want us to give up hope on him. <sighs> eh? he, he, no matter what, he's still our son, regardless. Let's just keep patching him. I believe everything will be fine. Hope, you say? No, you are telling me we shouldn't give up hope? So, you don't know that Leonard's position right now is that of hopelessness. You don't know. His case is beyond hope, if you don't know. That's rather too harsh. Harsh? M my love, calm down. Don't ask me to calm down. His situation, right? In fact, there is no word that I will use now that would be up to what I am feeling. It's an understatement if I say it is a hopeless case. It's okay. I know it's, it's pointless trying to discuss or talk about this with you. Just come to bed. We'll talk about it some other time. We are at least very calm. Okay? Come to bed. 
you go to bed. I, I will join you later. What are you going to do now, Vigil? Come and lie down. Sweet. of our great kingdom. A woman who is the rising beautiful sun that oversees our great kingdom. A woman who has rare beauty. A woman who has so much poise and class. A woman who makes royalty. Actually, she makes royalty look so good. So appealing to the eyes and of course endearing to the heart. I humble myself before you, O oh great queen, my mother. Rise, my son. I love the way you always massage my ego. Ah. <laughs> no, no, no. May my mouth be impaired if I do massage your ego. Uh-oh. I do not speak words of flattery. You see, my words are born out of your rare beauty, <laughs> by your class, your finesse, your abysses of womanhood. You are the royal golden standard. Yes, this is what royalty is all about. And I do say this today, royalty will be nothing, absolutely nothing without you. <laughs> my lips are sealed, my tongue tied. <laughs> then let me be your voice. Let me be your voice. Because if only can this voice be a bridge, I'll put it across the Atlantic Ocean and build you a castle there. If my voice can be a star, I will have your name engraved in the middle of it and let it shine over the world all day long. I will tell you this, mother. Blessed be that day. You conceived me in your royal womb. I am most grateful to be your son. <sighs> your words suit my body and my soul. They are like the gentle breeze that give life to dead butterflies in my stomach. It's amazing how your certain words Make me feel so beautiful and alive. I am blessed to have a son like you. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. And may I say I am most grateful to have a wonderful, beautiful, highly intelligent woman of poise and glamour and valor as a mother. Like I always say again, royalty will never, never be the same without you. <laughs> Thank you so much, my son. I was actually looking for Prince Leonard. Did you see him? Yes, he's actually in his room. But I, I knocked and nobody responded. Trust me when I say he's there. Okay, let me uh, go try again. Okay. <laughs> Come <All right>. here. <laughs> you know I love you. I love you so much. You know All right, my queen, take your time. Take your time. Take your time. I'll watch. Take your time. <laughs> Be very careful. That obviously means I do not want no one bugging me. Bugging you? Your mother's presence is a bug to you? Right? It's you saying, not me. What is wrong with you? Ever since you came back to this house with your twin brother, 
You have been living in solitude. One tends to live in solitude when everyone and everything is against him. Greetings, my great father. The Iteoke Miri of our great king. A king everyone is so proud of. The king who supersedes and actually is a canopy to his great kingdom. May you live long, my great king. May you live long. Greetings, my son. May it be well with you. See. Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you. May I sit down? Ah, please. Yes. Thank you. Um, my great king wasn't actually looking all cheered up. He had a sad face. And may I ask the reason? Isn't it obvious? What is obvious? Mother, no one likes me in this palace. Y'all act as if I do not exist, especially father. Making me look like some palace guard. You know that's not true. That's freaking true, mother. We treat you like a son. A beloved son and the prince of this kingdom. Just that the problem lies with you. It's so impossible, it's so difficult. How? Look at what you're doing. I've been knocking and you're not saying anything. You ask me how? Look, your brother Leonard is a black sheep in this palace. A senior prince who can be best described as, um, as a royal mismatch. Come on, father. I mean, isn't that too extreme? No. I mean, Leonard is not that bad, you know. He is. He is so bad. I mean, the, the unfortunate thing is he, he doesn't even realize that there is anything wrong with it. All right? He feels that uh, being a prince or the, the son of a rich king exempts him from the struggles and realities of life. Well, if you ask me, Father, I'll just say, I mean, it's only a matter of time. Leonard will come around. Say time? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, time is a commodity that your brother Leonard knows nothing about. He does not understand the value of time in human life. Okay, now, what did he spend with his time abroad? No, what did he use his time for abroad? Well, I was studying. A study that couldn't produce any results? No, that's the problem. That's the freaking problem. No one cares to listen or understand what I've been trying to say. On the contrary, I think the problem is you have wasted great opportunities given to you. And you have failed to acknowledge it. The problem you have refused to make use of the opportunities given to you to make a better version of yourself. You let them pass by and the list is endless. You know what? I'm not surprised. I've never been the favored son. That's not true. You have always been the favored between you and your twin brother. But your twin brother never complained. He makes good of all the opportunities he gets. And what do you do? You keep complaining and giving excuses for your failures. Then when will you grow up? Is it when you're old and dead and buried? Or when you grow up a, a gray hair? Is it when you're going to grow up? Come on, grow up! I don't 
think he will ever grow. Ah, father! Look, his recent failure is a testament to that. And I have you to blame in part for it. You have me to blame? What for? Why? You're asking me why? Yes. Were you not there with him? You were there with him, you saw everything, but you kept mom. Father, in my own defense, I'll say I'm not to blame now. <laughs> Luna had moved out of where we were staying and moved in with some friends and shut me out completely. I called you, I told you to inform you of what was going on at the time. Um, yes, you did. You did, but you could have done more. I mean, yes, I acknowledge the fact that you hid certain things just to protect him, but you could have done more. Father, on the contrary, I was never hiding any information from you or anybody, no. Remember myself and Leonard, we attended different classes. So it was difficult for me to know his academic progress. I mean, I, he shot me out. That was it. I think it's time he's made to know the realities of life. I am a prince. I was born in purple. That is the reality. Really? Don't you think there is more to life than being born a prince and into a wealthy royal family? Oh, come on, mother. What are you talking about? I am a prince. The heir to the throne. Soon. To succeed my father when he joins his ancestors. Then. I will have everything. I ever craved for. I will be a revered and feared king. I will control my father's wealth and that of this kingdom. Everything and everyone will be at my back and core. What more can I ask for, mother? It's not my fault I was born into royalty in Affluent. At least God knew it was going to feed me. That's why he made it possible I was born here. And trust me, I'm going to enjoy it the best way I can. No. You have lost it. You are indeed very very sick. Absolutely sick. You don't get it, do you? If fighting for what is mine is what you refer to as sickness, then fine. But trust me, I'm going to kill every doctor that tries to heal me. Because this is good sickness. I like it. <laughs> Leo, snap out of this, your wild dream. Your daydream. Grow up. Get a life. I mean, Leonard, get a life. Excuse me. I already have a life, mother. The best life ever. The best life ever, mother!
when you're here. Why did you do that? Do what? I only drank our juice. Look at this one. Our juice? Yes. It is not our juice. It is my juice. Point of correction. Really? Yes. <laughs> the way you're talking about this, my juice, I don't understand. I never knew father has already written his will. Will? Yes. Who's talking about will here? Because I am, and the way you're struggling for juice and emphasizing on my juice. It seems that father has already willed some of his properties to you and uh, all the juice in this house <laughs> as well. <laughs> father, can you stop? Oh my god. Yes. You never cease to amaze me. Of course, of course. I just keep trying. I just keep trying. So, where's father? He's fine. He's taking a nap. Oh, yeah, actually, the man needs it. I mean, he's been through a lot lately. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown, indeed. Yes. Honestly, you're yes. right. Yes. It's been yes. hectic. I know. I it's know. been rough. I know. I know. He'll get by. He'll get by. He'll get by. I saw you with Chisholm earlier. <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about, really. And did I say anything, really? I, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. I know you're up to something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to be part of this conversation. I'm not, I, seriously, I'm not going to be part of this conversation right now. <laughs> I am in no way going to discuss this with you. I wouldn't lit that cigarette, Leonard. Mother, please allow me to put up this fire on my head. Your presence is an unwanted distraction right now. Please. All thanks to my presence. If not, the fire in your head would have turned into an inferno. Because of those. An inferno? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be better than living with a father who hates his son with so much content? Hate? What a good way to deviate from the present reality. Your father is not the problem. You know it. You are. You are your problem. Think about it. You are your personal problem. How so, mother? You were there. You saw father see all this rubbish. Leonard, I wouldn't have you refer to your father's words as rubbish. What is wrong with you? Have you gone nuts or something? Have you lost your mind? Now you're the one deviating from reality. Father treats me like an outcast in my own house. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the right family. And this has got me thinking every day. I've always been wondering this what you, my biological son. Listen, I'm still wondering if someone one day will come up with a claim and confession that you are your child. What happened in there should be an eye opener to you. I better make hay why the sun is still benevolent enough to shine on you. Smoking some positive into your head and not this freaking cigarettes think before it's too late for you my son use your head use your mind cigarette is not your answer cigarette is your problem all of it are your problem
Why are you not saying anything? Why? What exactly do you want me to say? I have said so many things. Asked so many questions. Yet no answers. I need answers. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you have said absolutely nothing. And nothing does not deserve any answer. Father, you have two sons. Grown-up sons. And as a matter of fact, twins. But unfortunately, one is more favored than the other. You have given your favored son an elevated position in your company without even considering the other. Why? Leonard, when your mother gave birth to a set of twins, my joy knew no bounds. But as it is, I cannot help but believe that uh, probably your mother gave birth to his son and the hospital decided to gift us with another son as a consolation for the maybe my benevolent act towards them in the past. What are you implying, Father? Use your tongue to count your teeth. Father, I am your son and I deserve better. It's bad enough you prefer Frederick to me. But giving him such position in your company makes it even worse. We have equal right to work in that company. And if anyone should be considered first, it should be me and not the other way around. Leonard, you are quite correct when you say you both have equal rights. Yes. But my dear, this goes beyond the issue of rights. I sent both of you abroad. I gave you equal opportunities to study and come out with good results that you can use to work. Frederick worked hard, came out with one of the best results you can think of. In fact, his CV is one of the best around. But what did you come back with? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. While he was working hard to bake his cake, you ate up the ingredients for making your own cake, and you burnt the bakery. Well, if you're hungry, by all means, go ahead and start building your bakery from the scratch. But be rest assured that I will not give you any assistance whatsoever while doing this. Why do you always try to make me feel bad, Father? Why do you sound as though I have no qualifications when I do? Of course you do. Uh, but I'm afraid your qualification can only fetch you maybe a gatekeeping job in my company. Yes, and uh, I think uh, I have a position for that in my company. We need an extra hand. Uh, well, if you want to take that, of course, by all means, you can start today if you so desire.
what the hell is really going on in this palace? Father had the mind to suggest I work as a gatekeeper in his company. Oh no, this is not happening. Frederick has succeeded with his scheme, but I won't let this happen. I can be boxed to a corner in my own father's palace, which naturally is my inheritance. Never. When you at peace, you have the power. When you spread peace, one the more you are the superpower. Positive passion in my love. Cause this power you see is engineered by inspiration. It's engineered by inspiration. Hi this power. By inspiration, who is behind it? Who is behind it? Who is behind you? What is it, Prince? Yo, yo, come back here. Come here. Come. Am I now too little for you that you had to pass all the way without greeting me? I'm sorry, my prince. Maybe you didn't hear me. I greeted you. What the fuck? Are you trying to say I'm lying? No, my prince. Maybe you didn't hear me. Is that what you're trying to say? No, no. Okay, I'm sorry. Good day, my prince. Turn around. Turn around. I said turn the fuck around! So tell me... What are you doing at the moment? I'm going to sweep the back one. Once you're done with whatever you're doing, come straight to my chambers. All right? Get the fuck out. We have got beautiful stuff in this palace. I'll have fun. Chiso, don't you want to tell me what the problem is? <laughs> what happened to you? If you don't want to tell me what the problem is, at least stop crying. You're hurting yourself, please. Okay? Please stop. God. Sorry.
going on I'm, I'm fine I'm, I'm good I'm good I'm, I'm just surprised to see you that's all <laughs> listen your sense of humor is not a pair with your stilt what are you up to what I'm up to oh come on mom please don't make a mountain out of an ant hole I just told you I'm fine I, I, I was doing nothing I'm I'm, I'm cool you feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm good. Everything doesn't seem cool with you. Because I can sense some fear and uneasiness looking around at your smile. It's fake. It's totally fake. I, Mom, where are you getting those thoughts from? Fear? Come on, you, you know me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm cool like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm doing nothing. I'm, I'll just, I'll just chill in. <laughs> I sent the maids to come call you. Why did you drive them away? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were doing here earlier. I, I was, um, I was busy. Yes, I, I, I was busy trying to put the space together. I mean, I had to clean up that table. I, 
I had to clean up that table. I, I had to clean up the bed. Uh, fix. Come, let's go downstairs. I want to show something to you. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it's all right, Mom. You, you can go ahead. I, I'll build you shortly. No. All right? Not now. After you. Excuse me? I said, after you. So get going. Oh, Mom. Mom. No, I said, after you. I, I'll, I'll, I'll get my stuff. Where is she? She went inside. Well, fuck someone up now. Well, fuck someone up right now. Hey, 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 what the fuck are they? The king. The king. Leonard. Don't keep me waiting. So you do drugs? Under my roof? How dare you? How dare you do drugs in my palace? 
You should have first asked me if I know anything about drugs. I, I, I don't do this. Okay? I, I, I don't know how this got to my room. I don't know who has this. Besides, you didn't find them. Really? Yes. So how did they get into your bedroom? I don't know. Maybe you asked your server brought them to you. She should know better. She? Yes. <laughs> so how did you know it's a she? Isn't it obvious? No, what is obvious? Tell me, what is obvious? Stupid. Leonard. Father. I will ask you one more time. Woe betide you if you dare lie to me. Who is the owner of that white substance? Okay, fine. It's mine. It's yours. So this is the extent your madness has carried you? What is wrong with you? It's obvious you want me dead at all costs. But it will not work for you. It will not work for you. Mom, it's not what you think. So what am I supposed to think? It's not really mine. Some friend gave it to me to keep for him. Property. He didn't give you a building to keep for him. Is this is asking you to keep for him? Leonard. Father. You have the gods to do drugs under my roof. Do drugs? I, I don't do drugs. Just shut up. Now, where are the remaining ones? There's all of it. There's all of them. You better be saying the truth. Emeka. Your Majesty. Take a guard. Go to his bedroom and search it thoroughly for white substance like this. Your Majesty. I don't even think you're going. Mr. Bribe, so that you can go ask him to how to favor you. See anything? You should search well. Of course, there's nothing there. There is nothing in his room. Are you sure? Did you search the room thoroughly? We did, Your Majesty. We found nothing. Now leave. Your Majesty. So, this was the reason for the shenanigan. That stunt you pulled up in the afternoon. Earlier today. Eh? I should have known better. Idiot. Mom, it's not what you think. I don't do hard drugs. I've never done and I will never do. So shut up. No, I do it. No. Leonard, you have the guts to lie to me. I'll get back to you. Now leave my presence. Get out. Get away. I don't do hard drugs. Get out. Get out. Thief! Dare you! Take my stuff to my father! I said you tried to get back at me, huh? No, that was not what happened! Then what happened? It was not intentional, I swear. Emeka, your majesty. This is demeaning for human beings. I mean, how can you allow them? 
to use this under the sun, under the rain? I'm sorry, Majesty. Look, I, I'm giving you one week. Ah, hi. I hope you're okay. Yes, I'm sorry, Your Highness. What is it? What is that? It's that I got from Prince Leonard's bedroom. Your Majesty. Where did you say you got that from? From Prince Leonard's bedroom, Your Highness. There are others there. Contained. You fool! Must you trash everything you see? I'm sorry, my prince. Like I told you, it wasn't intentional. It was inside the trash bin, so I just packed all the deaths and 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 threw everything. Hey! Sorry. Shut up! I'm sorry. sorry. Listen, if I find out you've been lying to me, I promise you, I'm going to kill you. I'm not lying to you. I, Makachu, uh, I'm not. Sorry. I'm sorry. You put it in a trash can, knowing fully well you still need it. What kind of trouble is this? You know you still need it. You want to kill a poor girl like me? Keep my king waiting. Ah, uh, you are good at what you do. Thank you, my king. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, my queen. And who is this beautiful, elegant, smart looking girl? Hey. Pardon me, Your Majesty. Um, this is my daughter, my only child, Chisum. Wow. Your wife would always wax lyrics of her beauty and intelligence. And I believe she did justice to her description because she represents everything her mother says she is. You're welcome to the palace. Thank you so much, my queen. You're welcome. It's an honor to be in your presence. Welcome to the 